Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please be a witness for that for over 200 videos. I made so far on Shopify customizations because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. Some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So if you have any video requests or any questions, don't hesitate. Just drop me a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you without having to subscribe. Or actually, I think you should consider subscribing right now or you will lose because in this channel, I usually share like small customizations, but right now it's a completely different chapter. I will be sharing complete widgets and complete sections highly customizable sections on your Shopify store without having to rely on those expensive monthly paying subscriptions on Shopify apps and so on. It doesn't make sense and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. And I will give you two examples in this video so you can see, so you can get an idea what kind of sections I'm talking about. But in this video, I will show you how to show the dynamic in stock widget on the product page that will show how many products are in stock for that particular product and it has a green light blinking so it can attract attention. And no, you don't have to set the number of stock uh, like uh, manually. It will actually detect automatically how many products are in stock for each product and it will display them on the product page. And yes, if you are guessing, this is completely free. So without any more talking, let's just jump to it and show you what I'm talking about. But before we start, as you can see, this is down team. So I usually start with a completely blank team, nothing on it, which is down mostly. And I start each video adding a little bit, then by the video 70 or 80, the team will be completely different. But right now, I think I will reach that by 30 video or 20 video because this is completely different chapter. And the section I'm talking about, for example, this one, as you can see, this is all in one reviews that shows reviews across Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy all in one place. And it's filterable. For example, you can click on Google, it will only show you the reviews from Google. And if I click on Facebook, it will only show me the reviews from Facebook and so on for Amazon and Etsy. If you are interested in this, check out the channel. I already posted that video. And also, you know those pop-ups that once you're trying to leave the website, then they show up suddenly. How do they do that? Easily. You can actually add that right now by using your own code. You don't have to use the application. Check it out now. I will try to close the... Oops, here it is. As you can see, it shows up when the user intends to close the page. And it has this countdown timer. And also, you can customize everything. Even the background, you can set a video for the pop-up. Or just check out the channel, man, and you will see what I'm talking about. But for now, let me show you the dynamic widget that will detect the number of stocks and showing them in a widget with animation and so on. So let me access the Shopify dashboard. If you already Shopify dashboard, click on online store, teams, then click on customize button and it will take you to the team editor. And after that, we need to access the product page because this widget will only show up on the product page. So click on the home page right here, as you can see, then click on products and it will show you the default uh, pages. Pick the page that you set the products to, which is by default, it will say default products. And in here, this is too much info in here. Let me switch the product to something more cleaner. This one is much better. Yeah, this one. And if you are interested in showing the product uh, product name or product title on top of the picture in the middle of the page, check out the channel. I already posted that video. And uh, completely free again. So uh, in order to add the widget that shows the product in stock, the first thing you're going to do is head over to product information section on the uh, left panel, then click on the last option here. It says add block click on add block, then click on custom liquid. And after that, it will show you this uh, prompt right here on the right screen this time where you can paste in some code. And where are you gonna get this code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link, my website, click on it and it will take you to a page where you can download the file. So simply download the file, open the file with uh, any text editor, then copy the whole code inside. It's very short code. Uh, make sure to copy the everything. Do not miss anything. If you miss, just close in a bracket and it will not work. So copy everything, then get back in here and paste it in this section, just like you see right now. And after that, click on the save button and here it is, as you can see what it shows up, but it should be above the description and below the buy it now. That's how I like it. You can add it anywhere you want. In my case, I'm gonna click on the custom liquid block that we did add, then drag it up and put it below the buy it buttons. Here it is, this one. Now it's perfect, I think. But it doesn't show the end stock products because two reasons. This is team editor. It doesn't show the info. It doesn't actually uh, display the info. And the second reason is you have to have the stock uh, tracking stock enabled. You have to track 
to enable the tracking and votary for the product. So you can track how many products it is, obviously. But for me, this is just for a uh, demonstration. Let me click on the save. I will get back to the, my Shopify store and I know some products in here. I have the uh, stock enabled, the tracking enabled for them. For example, this one, yeah. This one, I have it enabled for this and as well as another one. This one as well, Modern Crystal led light so as you can see this one has one product in stock which is correct this one has one product and the second one i think has two three 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 products as you can see and this is how it looks like i don't know if you can see but this light is blinking actually so you can attract attention and it's interactive once you hover over it it does get lifted like that with a shadow slight shadow effect below it and if i click on another product that doesn't have any like uh, uh, tracking enabled i don't know which one I think maybe this one doesn't have, let me see, come on. Yeah, so this one doesn't have the tracking, the inventory tracking enabled, so it doesn't show the exact number, it just show in stock, which is fine, because the product is in stock, but you don't track the how many exact, how many product there is. And again, this code is completely free, you don't have to pay any developer or anything like that, and if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below, but for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching, catch you on the next one.